Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Karen Karen. Today is another episode of Stories from the Grocery Store. I have a really good one for you today. Um, so I had been working at the same store, the first store I worked at, um, uh, and it was in, I have, actually have the date, I wrote, I wrote down an instant report of my own. <laughs> so it was like November 4th. 2015 and I had worked uh, I believe an eight-hour shift and it was seven o'clock so I worked from 11 to 7 and I just clocked out and I was like I want some scones I love the scones they make here so I'm going to buy some and have them for a treat for the next day so I I buy them and there's something wrong with my bill like I don't know if the price was wrong on them or I was supposed to get a discount because that was the the weekly item that we got from the store or something I can't remember um, but I was supposed to get but it was it was not supposed to be uh, as expensive as it was um, I think they were on sale and so I took it to customer service and said look uh, to the sweet young girl who was behind the counter, I, there's something wrong with my bill. Please help me. I was still in my uniform because I had just clocked out. It was seven o'clock, just clocked out. And um, the assistant store manager came up and there was me and the girl who's helping me and then two other front end employees who were at customer service. And he said, and I have it still written down, he was like, get moving. Like just comes up, doesn't say, what are you guys doing or anything. He's just like, get moving the district manager is in the store and if he sees all four of you just standing around he will freak so first of all if it's acceptable for for employees to be standing around at the front end on any other day why would it be any different if the district manager showed up or the regional manager showed up it shouldn't be you should teach your employees to to do their jobs properly and if that means that they don't stand around at the front every day then you don't stand in front when the regional manager shows up and so then I just turned to the assistant manager and I said oh I'm not here as an employee I'm here as a customer um, there's something wrong with my bill and um, he's like he comes like right up to me like boom like he's right there and he's like I'm not gonna argue with you and I was like, okay. <laughs> I, I wrote this up the next day because I was so angry at this, this jerk. Uh, he goes, so he comes right up to me. And he's like, I'm not going to argue with you. Do we have a problem here? And so I look at him and I'm like, ooh. Do we have a problem here? And I look at him again and I'm like, ooh. And then he just, he just walks away. I had a customer come up to me and they're like, wow, does he have a chip on his shoulder? And the poor girl who behind the counter who was helping me um, figure out what was wrong with my bill, she was just shaking, like scared and frightened. And this man's yelling at us at the front of the store where all the customers who are at the checkouts can see. And um, like, he, he was he was just like, like one of those people who when you meet him the little hairs on the back of your neck just go <laughs> same with Mitt he was the same thing little hairs on the back of your neck just say stay away from this person this is not a good person this person would harm you if he had the chance to and and just shouting at me shouting in my face like this when I'm only trying to explain that I'm just there to buy something as a customer and I'm just trying to figure out my bill so I went and I told my produce manager about what happened and that I was not happy. And I returned my scones because if you're going to abuse me like that, I don't want to support this store. And again, I didn't just resign and quit. I stayed. And I don't know what is wrong, what was wrong with me that I stayed after all these incidents with these horrible men in this store and their bad, bad behavior. I stayed. I stayed there for six years and saw the bad behavior over and over again. Like it wasn't just one or two times. Already, um, I've been at this store, like this was November 2015, I started June 2014, so it was like a year and a half 
and have had three major incidences with top people within that store. On a side note, this man, this assistant store manager, would bring his children who were uh, who were um, under school age, so I want to say maybe three and five, into the store, and they would spend half the day there. Uh, I don't know if he was having difficulty with childcare. I did know he was going through a divorce at that time, and I also know that he ended up hiring his girlfriend to work at the store that I worked in, and he worked there too. So that didn't seem right to me either, but there was a lot of weird things going on in that store. So, you know, small children staying in the staff room for, you know, throughout my shift um, for, it must have been a good two to three months before he figured something out or before his um, wife, who would soon to be his ex-wife, took the children away or moved out of the city I was living at, but yeah. He was a jerk, and he was a jerk to a lot of people, not just me, and um, did not like him. And that's another story from the grocery store, getting totally yelled at for buying scones and wanting to see why my bill seemed incorrect. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, like and subscribe. Share me with a friend, because I'd love to meet them. Thank you for watching. This this um, little story really has upset me again <laughs> because this guy is still working for the company and he's probably still cheating people this this horribly. Uh, he's just not a good guy. All right. Well, I hope I haven't depressed you all. I've sort of depressed me a bit, but anyways. I hope you all have a great day, and I'm going to go do something fun now because that did not make me feel very good. All right, bye-bye.